Hey guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 4 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So it's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> So something tells me that possibly with like today's episode, will it, it, we're about to go into a brand new case because it seems like the case from episode one, to episode three, that's officially done. So now I don't know who the heck we're gonna be focusing on. Possibly um, the redhead and dude with the heels that I love so much, but. Who knows? I mean, maybe still everybody might get equal amount of focus. We just gotta wait and see. Interesting quote. Last item right in front of you. No, oh, she looks so pretty. I wonder who he is. He looks more like a teacher. How this school is just as empty as Agaragi's. Huh? You you dropped a book? Oh, he dropped money. Oh. Oh, your voice is pretty. <laughs> It's gone. Hmm. Or it's gone. There was this guy and <laughs> Yeah. Money. I know, right? <laughs> Is it fake though? Give it a, a smell it. Yeah, look at it too, but then also smell it. It could be fake. 
It's fake, he ain't it. Mmm. I was right. Plus, I bet you counterfeit money don't even smell. You're right, but I mean, you look at it more into the light and really look at the details. Yeah. Yeah, but then you know, smell. I I know I'm weird for probably saying smell money, but like anytime when you have it in front of your face, it smells. I don't know about Japanese money, but American money. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would have been, like, on that, man. Like, damn. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a cute nickname. At least you're not like your other nickname from Oran High School Host Club. How they could have called you Lolly who likes donuts. Do it again. Yeah. What if it's drugs? I mean, but the way she just did it, cut it open. Really? An invitation. Invitation to what? I mean, just because you got some nice ass legs, I mean, damn, all you got is fucking short shit. Loving the top hat, though. Look at his hair pushed back. Oh my god, yes. Uh. <laughs> 
What the hell? Yeah. Seriously? It's crazy. Yeah, but the thing is, why would they still use counterfeit bills in the first place? Yeah, that might as well. He probably does. Uh, look at him. So fine. I see me do the slide. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're that guy. We're going to play. Mm hmm. It's supposed to be checkers. Okay, Rudatsky. You're very suspicious, no offense, but like. Yeah!
Yeah. Now, if you were wearing, like, your girl outfit, your uniform, and then dressed it as a guy, he wouldn't be able to know that it was you because of your hair and, you know, because you're a girl. But, no. Just be very cautious of him, though. So is it light? It seems like it's like checkers. I've never played this before. Mm-hmm. But then it makes you wonder if him as the manager of this casino honestly, like, dead ass set out for that invitation to, you know, be led into the hands of Miami and the rest of the Pretty Boy Detective Club. Did you guys seriously collect all of those? Oh, cool. Interesting. Didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, but something tells me he might lose today. Like, who knows?
Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Is he cheating? He's cheating. Exactly. He's having him, her, whoever that person is read what's his face's cards. And that's how he fucking wins. I'm cocking a <laughs> oh, shit. It really is. This is some cocking goody shit. Except it's not like crazy faces. He's cheating! <laughs> so, of course, either the swindler of this series has to be the manager. But, okay. It's interesting, number one, that he immediately kind of sought them out. It seems like we're going that route because, you know, he's just walking. Mei Mei's also walking to school, to class, whatever. And he drops the money, the counterfeit money. She picks it up, tries to return it to him. He doesn't really take it back, but she follows him and then he immediately disappears. So, of course, there's got to be something else. Why he wants someone to cheat, or why he wants to cheat, I have no freaking clue. Something about that ain't right, but, of course, you know, gotta cheat. Don't know why, but yeah, you gotta fucking cheat. So, cause you, he possibly has, like, a, because he is the manager, he has a certain thing to uphold. It's almost like, mmm... He doesn't value anyone but himself. When he looks at himself, he's like, he's number one. And everyone else um, is below him or beneath him. So he's going to do everything in his power to stay that number one, which also includes cheating. It's a little fucked up that he's cheating, though. But, I mean, hey, don't worry. My children are going to figure you the fuck out. You're going to get in trouble for the cheating and shit. And then all five of them are just going to... Wait, hold on. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. My bad. Six. Because <laughs> You got to say, we got to put a man in there. We got to put her in there right away. The six of them will go back and have some nice tea. And just stay in their freaking art room. Because I fucking love that art room so damn much. But this episode, honestly. Oh my god. The start of this case was very, like... Case one was interesting, very, very interesting, but I think this case is a lot more, there's a lot more at stake. I think the things that are possibly going to happen in the next, like, three, maybe even four episodes, um, for however long this case is going to be, I think it's going to be really good. But the opening start of it, it started out strong. It was a little hesitant here and there, but it started out strong and... Part one of how many of our parts we're going to get, it also finished strong with a little and a cliffhanger in it, and I'm not mad at that. Now, it, it makes you wonder if anyone else from the previous case, um, specifically, I think her name was Ray, uh, is she going to pop out? Because after that, I felt like we're never going to see her again. Now, I did say this last week where, like, Ray gives me a lot of Kaiki vibes. Now, looking at it, um, this manager... If there's a Monogatari character that kind of reminds me of him. It's still a little bit of Kaiki. And then, um... What the fuck was your name? Uh, da 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 Um, okay, no. Because I, <laughs> I don't remember her name. So I'm just going to say it like this. It was Agaragi's, like, other half, her shadow. Not Shinobu, but, like, his other self. 
the girl with the like she had white like pure pure white skin black eyes black hair loved her so much i think like in my opinion she's like very underrated to me even though she all the girls of the monogatari series are very very best girl and ish but she also kind of remind he also kind of reminds me of um oronoki's um partner that one badass bitch who I like so much. Who, who freaking knows? Hell, he he, he kind of gives me, oh my fucking god. What the fuck was his name? It's been like two years since I watched Monogatari. Um, mm, God, do, the, the guy who always helped Agaragi with like some of the cases in the earlier times before he left and then finally came back and like, the final freaking season. I was like, yeah, this dude is never coming back. He's chilling somewhere. And then he finally came because, you know, best girl Hanekawa went to go look for him and shit and brought him back. But yes. But honestly, I have no idea where the fuck this is going to go. How in the world they're going to, you know, solve this thing. Hey, the manager's cheating. What the fuck are they going to do in order to, like, say, hey, yeah, let me accuse you. We're, we're already accusing it. How, how can you prove that? That's the biggest thing. Because of her eyes, her eyes are very, very helpful towards anything that these guys will go into in any case. So, but the thing is, she's the only one who can see that shadow person. So, who knows what the fuck is going to happen next week. But honestly, I'm really, truly excited to see how in the world this is all going to conclude for this um case slash arc but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode four of uh, pretty <laughs> pretty school pretty boy detective club if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode five bye guys